Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on how to care for your stringed instrument. Today we're going to be demoing on a violin, but you can use these same principles on viola, cello or even double bass. So perhaps you've just purchased your first uh, violin and you've got it home and you're wondering how to take care of it. This is a perfect video for you, but it's also good as a refresher for those of us who've been playing for a little while. The three main things that you need to keep in mind are to keep it cool, keep it dry and keep it clean. Keeping it cool is probably the most important thing. So never leave the violin in the car if you're parked outside or anywhere where direct sunlight can hit the instrument or the case if the instrument is inside. It's so important because heat can very adversely affect the wood and in particular the glue that we use to hold the violin together. On the other end of the scale, we don't want to leave it anywhere where it's really damp or moldy as the moisture can also have a similar effect on the timber and the glue. The third thing is keeping it clean. And this is something that all of us can do every day after we finish practicing. When we play, the rosin comes off as a fine white powder on the strings and then eventually onto the belly of the instrument. It's so easy to get the rosin off when it's fresh, but it's really difficult to get it off when it's been caked on for a few days or weeks. So what we recommend is using a soft, dry microfiber cloth. Start by wiping the strings on the top, just near the bridge where you, your bow's been touching the strings. Then we go underneath. And finally, we give the belly a good wipe down just to get rid of any of the rosin or anything else that might be sitting on there after we've been touching the instrument. Once you've done that, I recommend you turn the cloth around the other way and give the rest of the strings a good wipe. And the reason we do this is to get rid of any excess grease, grime or sweat that's left on the strings as those things start the corrosion process and can seriously reduce the longevity of the strings. Next we'll have a look at the bow. So the bow is going to come supplied to you detensioned and in order to play it, you'll need to tighten it up. And you do this by turning the screw at the end clockwise. Don't get too caught up about exactly how many turns. You need to use a little bit of intuition here. So as a guide, we recommend that you tighten it until there's the distance of the thickness of a pencil between the stick and the hair in the middle at the shortest distance. That's a good guide that there's enough tension on there to play and that you're not over tightening it. The reason why you don't want to over tighten the bow, is the same reason why you don't want to leave the bow tight, is because it can put excess tension on the stick and on the hair and a few things can happen. The most extreme thing would be that the tip actually breaks. It's the most common um, breaking point that we see. The next most common thing is that the hair can stretch out and eventually that means you won't be able to tighten it and therefore won't be able to play and you'll need to rehair the bow. And the final thing is that the bow under tension for that amount of time might end up warping and that also means that the playability is, is uh, compromised. You'll need to apply rosin most times that you play but not necessarily every time. It depends a little bit on how often you're playing. So as a rough guide, you might put rosin on only once a week if you're only playing for 10 or 15 minutes a day. But if you're doing an hour to an hour and a half, then you'll definitely be applying rosin every day. Once you finish playing, it's so important to loosen the bow. This is true even if you're only going to put the bow down for a short amount of time. Start by turning the screw anti-clockwise until you can see that the hairs are floppy. It doesn't need to be extremely loose. Um, I find that's a problem sometimes when you put it in the case, it doesn't stay and the hairs can get tangled in the, in the spinner. So loosen it just until you can see that the hairs are nice and floppy and there's no tension on there. And then it's safe to put away. We normally put the tip in down the pointy ends of the case. And that's because over here, there's greater distance between the stick and the hair and it leaves you with enough room to comfortably fasten it using the bow spinner. That covers most of the general maintenance that you'll need to do day to day, but there are some more serious things that you may need a little bit of help with. 
So we recommend coming in and getting the instrument serviced every six months. One of the things that you may need to do somewhere between the six and 12 month mark is change the strings. You may need to change them even sooner than that if you're not taking care of them and they start to corrode, or if you're doing a large amount of practice, you might wear them quicker. However, on average, we'd say most of our customers uh, would be changing their strings every 12 months. Once you've finished playing, it's always important to put it back in its case. It's the place where it's the most safe to be stored. So if, if it's a violin, then you'd normally put the blanket back on and just zip it all up. And it's nice and safe and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like extra information on tuning or how to clean your instrument, we've already got some videos on those, so please visit our YouTube channel. And don't forget that we're here to help. So if you've got any other questions, you can get in touch via our website, violins.com.au. And good luck with your musical journey.